everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today is Valentine's Day and guess what? I got a Valentine. <laughs> hey, Jim hands me the mail and in the mail there was a card. The card is back here. I'm not going to move it because You'll have to ignore the thing that the what is how'd you say it for the Wizard of Oz? Um, ignore, ignore the person behind the, the curtain. Curtain. Because if I remove it, to, it's holding up my thing. If I remove it, guess what's behind the curtain? You don't want to know that, but you did know it now. <laughs> if you looked, you saw it real quick. Well, I hope you're all having a great Valentine's Day. Mine was this big surprise. I don't remember the last time you gave me a card. <laughs> I'm sure I have it somewhere if I did get one. Um, oh, yeah. And I didn't get him anything, I know. I did stay home. That's what I did. And I, that's what I always do. I stay home. And I took care of the chickens and the dog. And I FaceTimed. I never expect anything. I know. And I FaceTimed my sister. Talked to her for a few minutes and she was on her way home and it was very cold today. Today it was 12 degrees when I got up to let the dog out. Poor little dog. I waited by the door because I know it's very cold. And so he goes out, he does his business. He always looks back to see if I'm still there. I was there, I was waiting. And then he hurries back and comes in. And sometimes he goes around this little piece of wood and gets stuck and then he can't, and he doesn't pull hard enough to get it unstuck. So I have to undo him and luckily he's a good boy and runs right into the house but if the neighbor were to come down the driveway I'm sure he'd try to go the other way and he oh, wouldn't yeah. care how cold it was well today if you if you celebrate Valentine's Day I hope you're having a great one I um had my dinner got a card got a chicken <laughs> chicken and the chicken says a life is better on the farm it is better on the farm I watched um, a lot of um, different videos today I watched one on aquaponics I watched um, the goat shed life she talked about what it's like to live in a small town the the pros and the cons of it and she was right on so if you want to know what she said go to the goat shed life and you can listen to what she said. It was she's she's really a good storyteller and good at at her videos. In fact, her videos had visuals in there. So if you want to, a lot of times you know we hear things, but when you see it, it sticks in your mind a little more. I'm apparently apparently a visual person. I I learn through visual vision. So that's why when I'm watching those crafting things that are not in English. I can understand what they're doing because I'm watching and I don't need the language. The language is not a problem. Well, that's it for today. Oh, wait a minute, my nose is itching. <laughs> I, I, itch it. I wanted to say one more thing, but my nose is itching. But I itched it and now I can say my one more thing. I, <laughs> oh dear. I went down to the apartment house. Now this is the apartment house that we're selling. For those of you that always think that I'm selling my house, that I live in, no I'm not. I live in this house. But we went down to the apartment house today and they took pictures, the realtor took pictures and we signed the papers. So now the house is on the market and I'm hoping that it sells quickly. There was um, Papa, Animal Papa, he mentioned that I should there was an old Italian um, custom, if you want to sell a house or have a house sell quickly, that you could take St. Joseph and, and bury St. Joseph. It, you started out years ago with metals and then it went to the actual statue and they say he should be buried upside down next to the sign, which I'm not going to put him next to the sign. I'll put him in one of my flower pots, but I'll put him in a plastic bag because I don't want to get him dirty. And and hope that it works. And maybe the house will sell quickly and maybe it won't. I don't know. The story behind it was there was a realtor that was having a real hard time selling this house. 
And when she finally um, did the St. Joseph, requested St. Joseph's help, her house, the house sold quickly, and a lot of other houses sold real quick that she was trying to sell. So maybe there's a thing to it. I don't know, but I'm going to give it a try. And if the house sells quickly, good for me. If it doesn't, well, good for me, yeah. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, have a great night and enjoy yourself. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>